SEO, that means that you are trying to become the best black hat SEO person on the internet. And if you know my channel, or if you don't know my channel, this is your first time visiting, then know that I cover topics that nobody else covers on YouTube, real information. I'm not leading you to any affiliate link or anything like that. This is real information because I feel like it needs to be shared. So today what I'm going to show you is how to do specific keyword research around a topic. And no, this isn't about building out uh, you know, your, your topic list or anything like that. If you haven't checked out some of my other videos, please watch the one around doing keyword research to rank a domain rating zero website. That will really help you to get the foundation for what we're talking about here in terms of just picking a top level and parent keyword. Okay, so the first thing that we need to talk about is why you wouldn't want to use an AI writer to do this. Okay, so what an AI writer does, let's say you say like, this is my keyword and please give me topics. Okay, what it does is it looks at all the page one H2s and recreates those. Okay, so if it's recreating all those page one H2s that appear on Google, and yes, maybe it uses some NLP. Okay, if it's doing this, what is it really doing? Ask yourself that question. It's just spinning the content. Okay, so it's not unique at all. You're not writing anything unique for the internet. And whether you roast me in the comments and say, okay, that's not plagiarism, that's not plagiarism, whatever, it is actually plagiarism. I don't care if you're using Copyscape or not, you're just saying something identical that somebody else is saying. It's the same reason why you're probably gonna keep watching this video is because I'm gonna say something different than everybody else on YouTube. I'm actually gonna give you real raw information that works. And that's the reason why you're gonna keep watching the video. Somebody else is gonna just give you a bunch of gibberish and I mean, do you really wanna do that? No, you don't wanna do that. And so it's the same thing when it comes to Google. So don't use an, an AI writer to create your H2s. And why are we talking about H2s? And well, we're not talking about topics, really. We're still talking about uh, keyword research, okay? So what we wanna do is like I've picked uh, a topic, like an article that we wanna write about. This is the top level parent keyword, okay? This is how to make a Spotify playlist. Remember, I do these things unscripted and live, no cuts. That means I'm doing this live with you. I don't even know what the results are gonna be, but they work because I've done this for years. Okay, so, uh, and you can, again, you can go into my channel and see more of what I'm doing. So we're building authority around how to make a Spotify playlist. This is our parent topic, okay? Well, here's what you can do. Um, before you start doing this, install this plugin Keyword Surfer, I'm not gonna link it, just Google it. Google Keyword Surfer Chrome extension. It's actually totally free, which is really cool. You don't need Surfer SEO. I'm not endorsing Surfer SEO yet. I mean, there's some things that maybe we'll go over in future videos. But anyway, I'm trying to go quickly here, and what I can tell you is that uh, you, you, know, you will get the free search volume of what you're about to see as I walk through this. So install this plugin first, and it's actually very, very useful. Um, again, 100% free, which is cool. Okay, so uh, a lot of people when they're doing keyword research, they stick within SEMrush or they do Ahrefs. Um, don't do that all the time. Um, it actually like eliminates some opportunities for you to think of new things to do. So let's say, like we said, how to make a Spotify playlist, okay? What you wanna do is um, actually look to the right as how to make a Spotify playlist. It'll tell you the estimated search volume why is this important? Well, the estimated search volume gives you some idea that like the search isn't like fake, that like the things that we're gonna look at in the autocomplete of Google isn't fake. It just kind of makes you realize that, I don't know, like like Google isn't tricking you in what it's what it's putting in terms of the autocomplete. It definitely helps quite a bit. And the more search volume that something gets, the more that you'll want to basically include that as part of your article or potentially even write a different article. That's where your content strategy comes into play. And you're gonna have to decide what that looks like. I'm not really going over content strategy today, okay? Um, but I'm going over this keyword search or this keyword research method, which is this. Just create a space after your uh, search term, okay? And it will come up with all these different other ideas. And again, it's really important to use the Keyword Surfer plugin because it makes it more real. So how to make a, a Spotify playlist public, okay, that's got 1,300 searches. So you have this opportunity. Do I write a different article about it or do I just include it? So here's what you'll want to do. You can include it. You can say, hey, H2, you know, how to make, uh, how to make it public. Remember, don't over-optimize. This is 1,200 in volume, okay, and that's good. Okay, now we're going to go back. And we're gonna say how to make it uh, private, okay? 260 in search volume. So I'm just doing this 
pretty quickly, right? So here's what we found. Let me create a little space here. Okay, um, how to make it private, 260 volume. Okay, so why are you doing this? Well, number one, remember, you're trying to make a very authoritative article. And so in order to make an authoritative article, one that's answering a lot of questions that people have, and no, that's not the people also ask panel. This is you doing keyword research. Um, it shows that you actually know what the heck you're talking about when it comes to uh, making a Spotify playlist. And why does AI writing sometimes not work for this? Because the information might not even really exist on the internet. Well, I think we'll probably find a, a keyword here that, that, that shows that. And so sometimes you might even need to just go on your phone and, and figure out how to do this with Spotify, which kind of sucks and it makes, a, it makes it very time consuming, yes, but that's, that's why you have to pick keywords that matter to you and your website and that are gonna be valuable. Okay, so why are we not considering this like, again, like the topic outline? Well, it is sort of the topic outline, but you need to really decide whether you include it, which you probably should no matter what, as a topic or write a new article about it. Um, the more that you do this, is you're gonna ask yourself, well, am I gonna actually show up for this term uh, with uh, my how to make a Spotify playlist? I mean, yes, Google oftentimes takes a lot of you know snippets from other articles and throws them up to answer questions. And it will try to take those featured snippets from the articles that have the most amount of authority to the actual article itself, not the authority of the site, that's a separate thing that we'll talk about, the authority of the actual article, okay? So let's see, I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna find one more. Uh, let's see, how to make a Spotify playlist collaborative. Okay, so here's a great example. So this is one where essentially no article other than Spotify is really covering it very well. You've got some like forums here and stuff, and so this is actually a great uh, keyword gap for you to include in the article. So I would absolutely include this, I would say how to, you know, make it collaborative, okay? 260 volume or whatever it was, I forget, let's see. Uh, yeah, 260. Okay, why does the volume matter? Again, let's go over this really quickly. It's because the more volume that it has, the more importance you're gonna want to put in your article. If it has no volume, you're gonna have to decide, do I put it in the article or do I not? Um, sometimes if you're just trying to cover all of these, so don't do that, don't cover all of these, then you're just stuffing your article with a bunch of keywords. That's not good. Just cover the ones that have the most search volume, and that's kind of what Google is deciding if you think about it as like a hierarchy, right, of like importance number one to 10. It's, it's Google's keeping track of those kind of subtopics and how much search volume they're getting as a way of ensuring that uh, they're answering the question for people. It's just machine learning. That's how machine learning is, is, is working. Like humans are just driving it. It's not like Google's driving it. But... If you try to do too much all at once, it will definitely set off some triggers. It'll be like, okay, this is just an, a super long article that's not trying to answer questions that people have. It's just a super long article trying to stuff keywords. You understand? Okay, so don't try to just get all of them. If you've got, I don't know, one that's, uh, let's see, offline sync. Okay, see, like this has zero in search volume, so I wouldn't really do it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't add that to the article. And that's just because I, it has the risk of kind of overstuffing it and over optimizing it. And that's like, that's gonna hit the helpful content update. Okay, so here's definitely what not to do. Let's cover this again. Don't include every single extension of the parent keyword. Okay, don't do that. Don't over optimize the article uh, with the additional keyword research we did. Okay. And then number three, don't copy the topics or, or keywords verbatim, okay? So what does that mean? So don't do things like this. How to make a Spotify playlist public. How to make a Spotify playlist private. Like this is a, a no-go and this is a no-go. Don't do this. And the reason why is because, well, it, of course, I just said, don't over-optimize this and don't keyword stuff this. And this just seems like it's keyword stuffing. So this is why it's a little bit different than creating a topic outline because your topic outline is probably gonna have some other stuff in it that you're gonna need to cover, like basically how to actually create the, the Spotify playlist, right? Like how to make one. And that's gonna be your actual like topic. But then you're gonna wanna do like a couple of subsections, like, I don't know, like making it making it public, making it private, 
um, or like options for making it public, options for making it private. And these might even be H3s. So don't, don't, don't think that this is all about me telling you that um, it needs to be H2s, okay? So let me clarify that. These could be H3s. You need to think through your content and your content strategy um, if you're gonna do this, okay? But, but just make sure that you include these uh, areas of discussion. Call it that, because too many people have used topics. Okay, so that's my video for today. This is Keyword Research. Please watch some of the other videos if you're watching up until this point. Remember, I have a couple of things to offer. I can build a niche site for you. If You can just watch my video if you want. You don't need to pay for anything. You can watch my channel if you want. It'll, you can just do it yourself. You can do all of these things yourself. But if you're very confused, I can definitely do this all for you. Um, although, understand, SEO is very expensive. If you have a brand, if you have a, um, I don't know, an e-com shop, and you really want to invest in this channel, I would say the channel being uh, you know, organic search, you're going to need a $15,000 investment. And the reason why is because, I mean, getting some PR for your brand, which is going to help in terms of organic search growth, I mean, that alone is three dollars to $5,000. And that's using just the, the cheap resources that I will cover in future videos, or maybe it already is in this, in this channel and you just need to go explore. Um, and also, to using a real editorial team. So I just kind of mentioned how... You know, we really need to understand how to surface information on the internet that's not existent already. And so a real editorial team that's based in the U.S., sorry to say that for all those who are listening in, is probably the best thing to do in terms of uh, getting real traffic. So I will have some traffic guarantees. You can reach out to me. My contact information is on the channel in uh, the, the channel page. Um, remember, totally unscripted, uncut here. Um, and then the last thing is, is I can just do the editorial work for you. So that's the keyword research, the things that we're talking about in this video. Um, I generally think around 50 articles published using these methods will get you traction. Um, and I think that it's really not about the word count. It's about the strategy, the strategy of your specific domain that you already have, um, the strategy of how you execute that content, um, the strategy, which is your content strategy itself, and just all things kind of combined. Um, generally, I think this is a pretty low price. Uh, if you want to do $3,000 for 50 articles, I think that that's, again, a pretty low price. You can reach out to me at this email address, or you can just go to the channel page. I hope you enjoyed this video for today. If you're here, you're a black hat SEO, period. You want to know how to get traction on Google, and it's really hard, and I understand uh, that it's very hard. If you leave a comment, the comments have been growing, and I do appreciate that. I appreciate all the support. Um, I will try to answer every single comment with, you know, real insights that I have. All right. Thanks, everyone, and have a good day.